what's up you guys and welcome to another episode of the words that spoke to my soul in this particular episode we are featuring the war report series which we read in january it included three books and it is by king benjamin now books one and two um are these here uh book three was only available in the ebook ebook form so that's how i read that one you know i am a fan of books i love to turn the pages and i might want to take some notes and highlight or whatever else so if i can get the actual paperback or hardcover that's what i always try to do um so uh i have books one and two here so uh you know this is basically a vendetta story um and it, it takes three books to kind of resolve everything um you know mercedes j and uh <coughs> excuse me um mercedes j and um uh, michelle mitchell they had though you know that's the main storyline and then i don't know if i'm pronouncing her name right or not but this is how i <laughs> would think it would um be pronounced but oshua and um you know her dude who is the uh secondary um you know love story and the person that the um vendetta uh, is against bones you know you have those and there are, are some you know other members within the crews that uh, play a major role in the story but those are the two parallel love stories that happen throughout books one through three and um you know you gotta, you gotta read the series to know what actually happens like you know i always try to get you to want to read the book if you haven't read it yet because again when you give a book review it should be to get the person interested in reading the book or disinterested if you didn't like the book um, but that wasn't the case here with this uh, particular series uh, King Benjamin uh, did an awesome job and one of the things that I uh, I haven't noticed before in any of the books I previously read or at least I can't remember that he stops you know in certain sections of book one and two and gives his personal perspective as the author and I thought that was kind of cool that's something I hadn't, hadn't ever um you know noticed before I keep scratching my nose so a little here is keep uh tickling my nose so I apologize but um you know I thought that was kind of cool that he's you know me and read he gives his perspective because sometimes I have been reading books and I'm like man I really wonder why they did this or you know what made them think this or whatever else so to give their kind of take on how they're developing the story and the characters I thought that was kind of cool so yeah I like that <laughs> but um as far as what spoke to my soul in book one ultimately it, it is um you know this whole goodness versus badness it is not determined necessarily by the actions that you take or things that you do and i say this because what really matters in my opinion is a person's intent if you have a pure intent i can understand why people make some choices and decisions especially if it's you know for the sake of their family to feed their their family their wife their kids or whoever else or you know to get out of a bad situation that they didn't put themselves in you know your intent matters so that doesn't determine if you're a good person or a bad person in my opinion because I don't know your story and so I try not to judge because I'm not in that situation and if I was in that situation perhaps I would have done the same thing so that was um what mainly spoke to my soul out of book one now as far as book two it would be to remain true to yourself and your path and not to allow negativity to deter you from that path. And I say this because um, on both um, uh, Jay's part and Michelle's part, they had all these this negativity coming at them when they were trying to make different life choices and decisions or whatever else. And you have to remember it, it's not their life, it's your life. So if you're comfortable with making that choice and that decision, stay committed to it don't let anyone deter you now i'm not saying don't get advice or counseling or anything like that but ultimately it's your choice if you can live with that choice go ahead and do so don't let anyone stop you from staying on your path um I, again both jay and michelle had to deal with that and um you know you should just try not to the second thing that um spoke to my soul in um 
in book number two was the fact that you should never settle. And to under, I, I don't think people understand that. There's a difference between settling and compromising. No one is ever going to find that person that, you know, matches every little checkpoint that they have and created in their head of um, what they want. Um, because, you know, sometimes what you want is different than what you actually need. And that's why I say that there's a difference between settling and compromising. And so, um, and I say that this was the case with uh, Michelle and her decision making and, um, whether or not she wanted to pursue this relationship with Jay or not. In my opinion, um, it wasn't a matter of settling. It was more so of a compromise and for them to have an honest talk of the life paths they both were on and if those paths were going to line up and become parallel or if they were separated. So um, that's why I say that that spoke to my soul because she went back and forth back and forth because his actions were proving that he was trying to do what he said he was trying to do it's just you know it's not easy <laughs> so um that's why i say never settle but um definitely as a person living in uh, the real world you need to learn how to make compromises so that you both get what you're looking to get and accomplish um now as far as book three i would say to never give up and i say this mostly because jay not only did this in his personal life but even in his it seems as if he may not have gotten what he truly was working to do and you know even when people didn't understand and even when they were trying to pull him back in whatever he was doing you know he never gave up and that's why i say stay committed to your path and never give up no matter what is thrown at you if that is the path that you think that you're supposed to be on believe it and um you know just keep you know pushing through push through push through until you reach that ultimate goal Also, um, in book number three, it would be um, your success is controlled by your mind mindset. I think that Bones' demise oops, <laughs> um, came from his mindset. I believe that Jay was able to do what he was able to do through his mindset. I, I believe Gunner was able to do what he was able to do through his mindset, as well as Michelle. So it's based upon your mindset it, it, it matters the power of positivity believe it i, I promise you it works <laughs> but um you know your success is determined upon that so it was a really 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 good book you got most of the answers that you wanted or say series uh, you got most of the answers that you wanted uh, with the exception of oh she was uh, she was <laughs> she was a hot mess but i had some uh, after reading all three uh, books i had a little bit more respect for her um, she was a ride or die, but at the same time, she wasn't stupid and she was out for her own and, you know, make sure she was good. Um, but never fear, uh, King Benjamin does have a spinoff book for her, um, and it's called, uh, Oshua, A War Report Story. So, if you want to know what happens next, um, I think you should probably cop that one. I don't know. I haven't got it yet. Um, it is on my to be read list. It's an ever-growing list. I have like over 200 books on there but hey if i'm reading five plus books a month i might be able to get it down nah. <laughs> my husband's trying to look at don't pay on no attention but that's okay it's nothing wrong with wanting to continue to read especially for a person like me because i don't god i'm okay because <laughs> i don't even watch tv um that much anymore if i do it's usually just youtube or whatever my kids are watching which is usually blippy but yeah so it's nothing wrong with having a never-ending reading list that's how you remain sharp and educated and enlightened <laughs> he doesn't agree but as <laughs> always happy reading and i will catch you guys next time i'm officially caught up woo, woo. <laughs> So my next um, video sh that you will be seeing um, should be for um, the month of June. Uh, for those reads that I did there is about, um, there are going to be five videos. I've read five books. And then the other ones that I haven't decided if I'm going to post those before or after I do the June reads um, 
for the personal groceries that I had already completed prior to initiating that segment on the book club. Um, so, I don't know. You'll find out. You gotta tune in. So, I will catch you guys next time.